Hi everybody and welcome to this video. Studio One 6.2 is out and I like to show you my five favorite features in this new version and also some of the hidden secrets in this new release. If you're more interested in discovering the major highlights, be sure to check out Gregor's and Joe's videos. In my video, I'll be focusing on those delightful little gems that often go unnoticed. With version 6.2, you can use the end marker to stop the playback of your song. In previous versions, the end marker could be used primarily for editing and for exporting here in the export mixdown window. But now if you want playback to stop at the end marker on your marker track, right click the end marker and just enable stop at marker. And now playback will automatically stop when it reaches the end marker. Here's something for the MIDI editing folks. You can now stretch part automation with notes here in the editor. In case you did not know how to time stretch notes, you can make a note selection, then click and drag the end of the note, and then only then hold the Alt or Option key to time stretch this note selection. In previous Studio One versions, this would only stretch the notes, but not the automation. Now, if you enable select part automation with notes, selecting your notes will also select the automation like pitch bend or sustain pedal, and then stretch it accordingly with the notes. That's a great improvement for anyone who's doing a lot of MIDI editing. And by the way, if you want to learn more about select part automation with notes, I have a video on that topic that I will link you in the info box. Another small but very cool addition here in the note editor as well is that you can now split notes just by holding down shift and control or on Mac it's shift and command. Previously you needed to switch to the split tool but now with version 6.2 if you want to split a note very quickly you can now just hold down shift and control or command and then you get this temporary split tool. Very handy for note editing as well. Before we go to the next feature, if you enjoy this video and you want to know all the tips and tricks and all the little Studio One secrets that perhaps nobody else knows, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. There are also a couple of improvements to the macro toolbar and the macro organizer has become much more useful in this version as well. The different macro menus have been reorganized so that it's now even easier to create your own macro pages and buttons. Again, if you're still scared of macros and you think it's only for programming nerds, please take a look at my all you need to know about macros video. I really show all the basics and how to get started with macros. The macro organizer has got a few really nice improvements. For example, this very prominent search field which makes it so much more convenient to find certain macros. You can now also sort all the macros by name, by group, or by description, which again helps you to find and organize your macros. Another improvement is that we have a shortcut column that shows you if there's any shortcut assigned to a macro. And even better, if you like to add a shortcut, you can now do this directly from here, just select the macro and press this shortcut button. This allows you to directly assign a shortcut and run your favorite macros with one keystroke. And here's one last improvement. Many users wanted to be able to turn off Studio One's dropout protection feature entirely. Dropout protection is Studio One's tool to prevent CPU overload when working on songs with a lot of plugins and instruments. But if your computer is so powerful that CPU power is not a problem on your system, then you can now disable dropout protection completely in order to run Studio One at the lowest available buffer size. To do that, just go into the performance monitor and here in that list, you can now just set it to off. That's it for today. Make sure to update your Studio One to version 6.2 and I wish you loads of fun exploring the new features. Until next time, catch you in the next video and thanks for watching.